for your grace. Thank you for your faithfulness. Can we please go ahead and bless the name of God. Let's give him praise. Thank you for your presence. Lord, we honor you. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we bless you. Say something good to your maker. Worship his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Say, Father, we bless you. We give a praise. 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 Ephra shato kota ata asa. Lepra no shando kota. Leta na na patasinde ketoya. Lepra na shoto kande patu sanda kata. Lepra na shanda katoya nabada. Open up your mouth and bless the name of God. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, we lift up your holy name. We magnify your name, we magnify your name. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We reverence you, we reverence you. We bless you for your presence. Thank you, thank you, Lord. 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 Abba Father, we bless you. Abba Father, we bless you. Live Rashado Koda and the Father Sada. Live in the Koda and the Father Shanda Katoya Dada. Oh, Rata and the Father Sada. You are glorious. So glorious in your ways. 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 Somebody declare. You are glorious, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, God, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, God. You are glorious, glorious, so glorious in your way. One more time. You are glorious. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious. You are glorious, glorious.
Lord. We give a praise. We give a praise. We give a praise. Hallelujah. I'm solving the God of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. Yes, I know. Do you know? I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. I know. I am serving the God. Hey. I know. I know. Say, do you know? I'm serving the God of miracle. I know. Your hands together. Hey, it's your mercy that made 
makes me come into your presence. It's your favor that makes me come into your presence.
fruitful for someone here it is your turn hey believe god i say it is your turn say my father my father i pick my unstoppable breakthrough i pick it this morning i pick it this morning what are you expecting god to do in your life begin to pick it there's a miracle on this altar. There's a favor on this altar. There's a healing on this altar. Open your mouth and pray. Leave back ya. You visited me, people. You will visit me, oh God. Leave back ya. Hey, I am next on the line for unstoppable miracle. Pray. Oh, I'm here for Jesus. For unstoppable miracle. My viboshe encounter unstoppable, unstoppable miracle. It's a miracle that no man, it's a miracle that no cause, it's a miracle that no confident can stop all of. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When King David, when he sent for my viboshe, he told him, he said, my viboshe, do not fear. I pray for someone here. Every spirit of fear that want to hinder your unstoppable breakthrough, the fire of God will consume them. What you are believing God for, God will hand over to you. I said, today is your day. God is here. I want you to pray. Say, Father, every agent of fear, I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Every agent of fear that want to rob is me from unstoppable breakthrough. Hey, leave cast out that fear, cast out that fear, cast out that fear, fear torment, cast out that fear, cast out that fear. In the name of Jesus, hey, hey. Hey, hey, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Before Mephibosheth received this miracle, he was kept at the Lodeba. But when David called him, he never returned to that Lodeba. I pray for you today. You will never return to that sorrow. Hey, someone, you are not saying amen. I said, you will never return to that barrenness. You will never return to that struggle. You will never return. Never again in your life. Never again that you become barren. Never again that you become sorrow mover. Never again that you remain on spot. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. I'm walking out on Lodeba. I'm walking out on Lodeba. Prayer. I'm walking out. Oh, someone you are not praying. I'm walking out. Out of Lodeba. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Do you know? For God to do anything for you and I, he will use a catalyst. He used David as a catalyst to be a blessing to Mephibosheth. God has prepared our Father in the Lord here, yeah, Pastor Brano Yiso, to be a catalyst that God wants to use. I want you to send forth your hands unto him and pray for him and say everything that God has ministered to him to deliver on this altar, they shall not be carried over. Ah, you didn't hear that prayer. Say everything that God has what? Has anointed him to deliver. I see God breaking shame here today. I see God doing unusual miracle. The miracle that I've never recorded since he has been called into ministry. And we emanation from this altar. I want to pray for myself, Father, we commit your soul into your able heart. You sing for me. You sing for my family. You sing for Domino Sanctuary. You sing for Region 19. You sing for Fordwell family. You sing all over. Prayer. Hey, prayer. It will, it will minister to me. 
Ah, so what you are not praying? Ah, so what you are not praying? When Job, when Job, when he prayed for his friends, that the Lord turned again his own captivity. Pray for him. Everything that God has given to him, he will not be in hurry. I will receive my parcel. 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 Thank you, Father. Blessed be that your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lastly, strength forth your hands to this altar. I'm believing God that my miracle is on this altar. I'm believing God that my favor will come out from this altar. I'm believing God that healing will come out from this altar. I want you to pray and say, My Father, my Father, as I strengthen forth my heart unto this altar, my heart shall not be empty. My heart shall not be empty. I will return with testimony. I will go with testimony. People will know that God of unstoppable brother is here. Prayer. That woman pray. 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 pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we are praying as we continue in this service God of unstoppable breakthrough before we came you are already here continue your signs continue your wonders continue your miracle let there be salvation let there be healing let there be deliverance Whatever your children are trusting you before they leave this sanctuary, let them receive answer in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. If you have received that from heaven, can you shout a thunderous hallelujah as you welcome our amiable choir? God bless you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say the God of breakthrough is coming for me this morning. God of signs and wonders is coming for me this morning. The God of victory, the God of success, the God of divine visitation is coming for me this morning. Hallelujah. This beautiful morning, the heavens will be opened upon us like never before in Jesus' name. Because God is on the move. And if you are looking for that blessing like never before this morning, can you raise up your hands to heaven? Can you open your hearts to Jesus and begin to worship him this morning? Say, God, for my sake this morning, please break every protocol. I don't know how you want to bless me this morning, but please bless me. Bless me. Bless me. Hallelujah.
kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Move with your power.
If you believe it was God that woke you up, give him a big hand. Give him a big hand. If you believe that today is your day of breakthrough, give, give him a big hand. Hallelujah. You are here moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Swerving every night. I worship you. I worship you. Oh, yeah. I worship you. I read about a story many, many years ago when I first got involved in Pentecostal Christianity. And this story helped me to understand the word breakthrough. A man and his wife and their little daughter went to church on a Sunday and the pastor of that church preached on faith. They, this family lived in a small community and between their house and a, like a lake was a hill. And uh, this, the little child had always wanted to see this lake, see yachts on the lake and things like this. But that hill was an inhibition. So on that Sunday, when they got home after lunch, this little girl went to the hill and say, you mountain, just like our pastor preached, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Did that twice and the parents became embarrassed because neighbors were seeing this little girl going to an inanimate object, a mountain, and speaking, you know. It got to a stage, the parents said, look, if this girl does not stop within one week, we're going to involve a psychiatrist. Two days into this one week, a letter came from the city engineers that they want to construct a road across that place. And they were going to blast out that mountains. And because of the vibration and things, they were advising them to keep their breakables and things. Cut long story short, the mountain was removed. I stood here and I prophesied to the life of 41 people this morning, every barrier, every roadblock, every inhibition, every mountain that is standing in your front, in the front of your husband, your front of your wife, front of your children, let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let it be blasted in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, every mountain standing between me and members of my family. Go! Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every mountain, every barrier, ancient barrier, barrier that was erected before you were born, 
Oh my God. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Barrier called average. You live in an average life. All through your life, you are just average. You earn your salary. The money goes. Oh my God. You are not born to be average. You are not born to be average. That mountain that says everybody in your family must be average. Let it go today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know if you know this song. Mountain, you must move mountain. In the name of Jesus. Moses stood by the bank of the Red Sea. The Egyptians were coming behind. Moses was to cross into the promised land with his people. But there was a barrier. The Red Sea. The Pharaoh and his soldiers, they were ready, you know. Most God said, why are you crying up to me? You'll have a mantle. Strike the water. And that mountain is going to... This morning, you're going to raise your hand. And you're going to say, Father, I received the mantle of Moses. I strike that water. Let it separate. I must cross. I must cross over. I must cross over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Oh, we make a, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Our Father, our God, we bless you this morning. We thank you, oh God, because in your presence there's fullness of joy. There comes a day, a day, a day, a day in a man's life, a day in a woman's life, when opportunity meets preparedness and breakthroughs begin to occur. We firmly believe that today is that day, the day of our breakthroughs. Father, let every one of us here today break through in the name of Jesus. Let it be according to our faith in the name of Jesus. As we go into your word, we pray that you speak to us. Let your word go forth with power. Power to save. Power to blast out mountains. Power to remove barriers. Power to declare roadblocks illegal in the name of Jesus. At the end of today's program, we're going to have every reason to glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, expect your breakthrough. Expect your breakthrough. Expect your breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated. I want to thank every one of you who took time to come here this morning. And... Uh, you know, sometimes a man or a woman of God prepares and comes into a church and sees something that does not really encourage him or her. But today, God is going to have mercy and just let us break through in Jesus' name. Unstoppable breakthroughs. Second Samuel chapter 23, verse 13 to 16. Second Samuel chapter 23. Verse 16, 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 13 to 16. And three of the 30 chiefs went down and came to David in the harvest time unto the cave of Adullam. And the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rephim. And David was then in an hold. And the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. Verse 15. And David longed, David desired, and said, Oh, that one will give me the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. Verse 16. And these three mighty men break through the hosts of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem. 
that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he will not drink thereof. He poured it out unto the Lord. No wonder the Bible says David was a man after the heart of God. Three men will break through for somebody today. In this third boat, three men will break through today. We welcome you to this strategic service. A strategic breakthrough service. The good news is that our prayers today will break the prison gates of hell. Break the old gates. Break the valley gates. In the name of Jesus. Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 39. Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 39. And from the gate of Ephraim above the old gate Gates that were, in, that were installed before some people were born. Generational gates. And above the fish gate. And the tower of Hananiel. The tower of Meers, even the sheep gate. And they stood still in the prison gate. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 13. Nehemiah 2 13. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley. Valley gate. You are in the valley. You want to come out, climb to the mountain top, a gate is stopping you. Valley gate, average life. I define average as the best of the worst and the worst of the best. Average is between 40 and 50 percent. Pass back, but your mates are up there, 98 percent. Average life. Get your salary before the end of the month, you are broke. Everybody in your family is average. It stops with you. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 13. And I went out by night. The gate of the valley. Even before the dragon well. And to the dark port. And viewed the walls of Jerusalem. Which were broken down. And the gates were consumed by fire. Every gate that is standing by you. I stand on the authority of the word of God. Let such gates be consumed by fire. Let such gates be consumed by fire. I say, let gates be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Matthew 16, 18. We're talking about some serious things this morning. You were not born to be average. And I also say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Mark 11, 22 to 24. Mark 11, 22 to 24. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, this what must have been the scripture that pastor preached in, the, in that service. And the girl went to the mountain, and the mountain was blasted out. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the lake like that girl prayed. I shall not doubt in his heart. I shall believe those things which I have said has come to pass. He shall have whatever, whatsoever he said. Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever ye desire when you pray, believe, receive them and you shall have them. David desired we're going to see what happened to his desire. I command every barrier, every gate, standing between you, your children, to, you know, to, to, to um, 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 pray the breakthrough, to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. There's always a day of breakthrough in every person's life. A day you hear a destiny changing word, like we're hearing this morning. A day you receive an anointing, an unusual anointing. As the word of God goes forth, anointing goes with the word. A day opportunity meets preparedness. A day you come across your destiny helpers or your destiny promoters. A day you hit your turning point. I pray for you this morning. Before the end of this month, about six days are left. You will meet somebody who God is going to use to help you. Back 
to the text. In 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 15. 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 15. The Bible says, David desired. He longed to drink water. Not just from everywhere. He could have just gone somewhere else. What David wanted water from a particular well. The well of Bethlehem. That miracle you are asking for is not just ordinary, an ordinary type of miracle. Sister, you are not just looking for an ordinary man to marry. Brother, you are not looking for an ordinary sister to marry. I'm going to repeat this story. Somebody called me yesterday. Somebody I know has been trusting in the Lord for his daughter to get married. The junior sister got married years ago. They have been praying. I know that every family has one prayer point. Your prayer point for that person will become a testimony to me. And the pastor told me, Sir, it's not just an ordinary husband. He's a petroleum engineer based in a particular place. Her father was a retired big man from based in a particular place. He said, this husband is a husband of compensation. I stand here this morning and I prophesy. 11 people, 11 people, 11 people. Receive miracles of compensation. I said, receive miracles of compensation. Receive that miracle of compensation. In the name of Jesus. David longed to drink this water from the well of Bethlehem. Just like Esau longed for a blessing. Genesis chapter 27, 37 and 38. 27 verses 37 and 38. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made your brother lord over you. I have given him for servants and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now? My first son, my son. What shall I? Oh my God. What shall I? I've already released your blessing. Listen to verse 38. And he said unto his father, Has thou just one blessing, my father? My father, one blessing. Only one blessing. Bless me also, oh my father. And he saw lifted up his voice and began to weep. I pronounce blessings upon every one of you this morning. His son longed for that blessing, but the blessing was gone. What are you longing for? Like Rachel in Genesis chapter 30 verse 1. Rachel was so exasperated. She went to her husband and he said, give me a child or I die. What do you long for? Is it like Hannah, 4 Samuel chapter 1 verses 10 and 15. For Samuel chapter 1, verses 10 and 15. And Hannah was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Verse 15. And Hannah said, No, I'm not drunk. I'm the woman of sorrowful spirit. I just need a child. A lady came to me some time ago after our breakthrough service when I was in Festac. As soon as she came in, she began to weep. Began to weep. Began to weep. I said, Calm down. What brought you? Calm down. She got a multiple two year uh, 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 multiple uh, um, um, entry visa. Mont one, mont two, mont three. Only one month was left of that visa. No money to buy a ticket. She needed money, and they said they told her that if she doesn't use that uh, visa, she can never get a U.S. visa again. Wept and wept and wept. I prophesy to your life this morning, every tear you have shed will become laughter in the name of Jesus. David desired this water, but there was an impregnable obstacle between him and the well. Philistines, sworn enemies of the Israelites. The Bible tells us in 3 John 2, 3 John 2, that's a summary of the Bible. That God wants us to prosper, to be in health, even as our souls prosper. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Listen to God's love story. 
The Bible is not just to do, don't, don't do, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. You, if you do this, you die. No, no. The Bible is God's love story to man. Ephesians 1.3, the Bible says, Blessed be God, a father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with what? All. All means bubuwe, everything in heavenly places. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 11. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you what? The Bible is God's love story. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23, 25 and 26. Relate your life to the things that I'm saying this morning from the Bible. Exodus, and you shall serve the Lord your God. He shall bless your bread. Do I hear amen? amen? He shall bless your water. From today, the water you drink will bless you. The bread you eat will favor you. He said, I will take sickness away from your midst. They shall not take cast their young, nor be buried in your land. The number of your days you are going to fulfill. What is scripture? We're all running the race of life. And Paul advised us in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. 1 Corinthians 9, 24. He says, run to win. Fight to win. Get married to be productive. Live in Lagos to prosper. Attend the university to succeed. Fight to win. Put it on the screen. Run to obtain. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. See, everybody's running the race. But for you, run to win. Don't beat about the bullshit of life. Don't parabolate. Don't hang on the shores of the river. Cross it. Brethren, have you been experiencing resistance to your breakthroughs in life? Have you been running into spiritual, physical, financial obstacles? Are you living a life of constant struggles? Are you feeling resisted? Are results in life not corresponding with your efforts in life? In business? In marriage? A lady who used to know, I think it happened three or four times. Pregnancy, six to seven months, the thing will just come down. Pregnancy, six to seven months, the thing will just come down. Miscarriage. A rich woman in this Lagos dreamt in her dream they gave her a kerosene stove as, 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 as a gift. You know people who cook with kerosene stove. That was when this woman's poverty started. She began to sell. She began to sell. A man dreamt and he picked coins. He started picking coins in his dreams. That was when Wahala started. We don't use coins in Nigeria. Well, come on. I mean, somebody comes to your store, wants to buy something of 10,000 naira, brings a bag of coins. Are you going to sell for that person? In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, 1 Corinthians 16, verse 9, the Bible says, a wide door, an effectual door, a door of connections, a door of opportunities have been opened unto us. But there are many enemies. We are born again for success, for victory, for triumph, to advance in life, to get married, to have children. You give birth to children for them to also give birth to children. Men and women tell their, their children, I don't want anything from you. All I want from you are grandchildren. If you've ever had a grandchildren, you, the, the joy of carrying that grandchild. Because when you're the father of that child, each time you look at the child, you see responsibility. You see milk. You see school fees. You see and all that. So you don't really enjoy the child because it's a responsibility. But a grandfather, you are not paying the fees. You, you, are, you, you tell your children, bring all your children to my, I want to spend weekend with my grandchildren. Everyone here that is looking forward to having grandchildren, receive them, receive them, receive them, receive them. 
Receive, receive, receive. Receive them. Receive them. In the name of Jesus. In your lifetime, you will carry your grandchildren. We're born again to have children. But obstacles, roadblocks, barriers to leave us frustrated, leave us dejected, leave us defeated. I know a lady who resigned from government. They paid her about three billion naira or so. She retired to her village. Those villages. I don't see myself retiring to any of them. Because they are waiting for you. That's my opinion. It's not your opinion. She went, bought land, bought cassava stalks. You know, cassava, you don't plant seed. Is it? Is this, this, this talk you, 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 big farm. After two weeks, she went there, said she wanted to go and to cut the grass and things like this. What did she, everything, ashes, 300, 3 million naira was wasted. Everyone who wants to waste your investment, everyone who says you will not, all your children will not prosper. Fire up the Holy Ghost! Fire up the Holy Ghost! Fire up the Holy Ghost! Consume. In the name of Jesus. Many Christians are born heroes or heroines. Qualified, but they are wallowing in ground zero. Matthew chapter 13, verse 28. He said unto them, an enemy has done this. Wallowing in ground zero, enemy did it to that lady. Erected gates before you were born. Old gates, prison gates, valley gates. Dead end. But I bring you good news this morning. In this third moment, God will remove those barriers in the name of Jesus. I like these songs that our choir rendered this morning. Our God is a God of miracles. He's going to go before us and remove all those mountains. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah 42. Verse 5 to 10. Thus said the Lord that created the heavens and the outstretched out hands. The Lord called it righteousness and will hold your hand and will keep you. And we give you for a covenant of the pe for the people and the light of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from prison and dark, you know, from the darkness of the prisoners. He said, I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory will I not give to another, nor my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass. He says, you will sing a new song. In the name of Jesus. Many Christians are in neutral gear. When you're in neutral gear, every which way but lose. The wind blows, moves you forward, you go, they bring you forward, you come back, you know, they move you sideways. Some are spiritual signboards. The people you encourage to come to Lagos, they are now millionaires. If you're going to Lagos, for instance, on Todd Mayland Bridge, you're going to see uh, signboards. Go to Ekoyi, this way to Abalende, this way to uh, the, the Lekki, you know. They've been there for the past 60 years. They direct you to where you are going, but they don't live there. There are people who's, who, they are spiritual signboards. The young person you brought from the village as an apprentice, at some point in time you graduated this person, opened a store for the person. This person has become a multi-millionaire. You are still struggling with one store. There is a challenge. Spiritual signboards. There are people whose lives are in the reverse gear. They're always talking about yesterday. Oh, when I was driving a Rolls Royce, when I was driving a Jaguar, when I was driving a Toyota Land Cruiser, and today you are the bus stop. Reverse. Yesterday is always better than today. I prophesy to your tomorrow. Your tomorrow will be better than your today. Your children will be greater than you. 
Your children are your tomorrow. They will be greater than you. In the name of Jesus. There are people who are just surviving. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1. Zechariah 3 verse 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, not ordinary priest, standing before an angel of the Lord. Lord, capital letters. Somebody was standing by him to resist him. Standing at his right hand. With the right hand you sign checks. With the right hand you exchange wedding rings. With the right hand you write proposals. With the right hand you write examinations. With the right hand you give. With the right hand you receive. With the right hand you defend yourself. When the devil stands at your right hand. There's also what they call right hand man. Right hand woman. Destiny helper. A right hand man puts you in the office. Before you resume the office, they retire him. The new man cancels the appointment. Life of prayer barriers. You are great. Like, the one prayer we are going to pray this morning is generational blessings. Abraham was great. Isaac was greater. Jacob was I've noticed that in this country, many fathers are always greater than their children. As soon as they pass on, children become daggers drawn, the estate, everything, they scattered and they become poor. Today, generational blessings in the name of Jesus. The Bible did not say Isaac struggled with anybody. Jacob did not struggle with anybody. Your children will not struggle. My children will not struggle. Take courage. Because your prayer, your son from today will be, see what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. What I waited for has come. I thought you were going to stand. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. One more time, one more time, one Can more time. See, we'll what see what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for. What, what I waited for, for has come to pass. God bless you. Back to the text. David wanted water. But the feeling signs were an obstacle. A mountain. In 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 16. Please project it on the screen. 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 16. Three mighty men break through. The host of the feeling signs. And they drew this water and they gave it to David. I stand here this morning and I prophesy. Three mighty men will break through for you. They will give you the divine water. In this third boat, three men will visit you. In this third boat, three men will break through for you. Like Jesus received three gifts. Three gifts. In this third boat, before the end of this boat, you will receive three gifts. Before the end of this boat, you will give three testimonies. You will give three testimonies. In the name of Jesus. To break through means to pierce through an obstacle. Take a listen at these definitions. To break through is to press through a barrier. A breakthrough is a major achievement in technology. When you hit a target, it's said to be a breakthrough. The parish I was, I was in before I came here, a brother came for prayers about a contract. And about a month or so after he came back, he said they've got a contract. 1.2, he wanted the contract with a telecoms, one of his telecoms uh, companies. 1.2 billion. That's hitting the target. A breakthrough means change of level. A breakthrough means unexpected blessings, unexpected promotion, unexpected liftings. 
A breakthrough is a sudden answer to your prayers. A breakthrough is moved from being an employee to an employer overnight. Our pastor who said the opening prayer talked about Mephibosheth. I love the story of this Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth was not born lame. Circumstances made him lame. As if being lame was not bad enough, he was moved to Lodiba. Lodiba means dry ground. Lodiba means pastureless ground. Lodiba means walking like an elephant and eating like an ant. I interviewed somebody yesterday who said he walks seven days a week. Oh, let's not talk about the, 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 the horrors this man has gone through in life. But the day came in 2 Samuel chapter 9 verse 1. It was like David could not sleep. Because right from verse 1, David said, hey, 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 Ziba, come, come, come. Is there anybody left in the house of your father, in the house of your mother, because I want to bless you? Yeah. Ziba said there's one non-entity in Lodiba. David said, is that non-entity I'm looking for? Ziba, Mephibosheth went to bed a lame dead dog. When he woke up that morning, he had 36 people working for him. From being an unemployed person. Because David called Ziba. He said, Ziba, you, your wife, your children, all your servants. I took time to count them. 36. He said, go and be the employee of Mephibosheth. I prophesied to all employees. All those who have come here as employees. I don't know how God did it for Mephibosheth. But in your lifetime, you will own your company. You will own your business. Your children will work in your company. From there, they will open their own companies. Your company will become a multinational. In this church, you will give tight in dollars. You will give tight in naira. You will give tight in euro. You will give tight in pound sterling. People in this church give tight in dollars. I see them. If you have not been doing it before, God will get you there. I see the figures of this church. There are people who are in Nigeria here and they are earning current foreign currencies. Change of level. Unexpected promotion. From quick notice to landlord. I don't know whether you attended the Holy Ghost service when a, a young man that was given quick notice by the landlord, he didn't have money. Daddy Gio gave us, you know, this guy came to give a testimony. And somebody came to him and said, do you want to buy the house? Ah, the man said, daddy, I don't have money to pay my rent. Said, okay. He said, do you want to buy the house? The brother said, I for do. What I can, you know. The brother bought that house and gave his landlord quick notice. Only you can save what no man can save. Jehovah what only you can do, oh, what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do, what no man can do, only you can do, only you, only you, only you, only you can do, what no man can do, Jehovah. Father, do my own, do my own, do my own. Prayer, 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 prayer. Do my own, do my own, do my own. Father, do my own, do my own. Father, do my own, do my own, oh God. Do my own, do my own. I don't know how you are going to do it. Do my own. Father, do my own. Do my daughter. Do for my son. Do for my sons. Do for my grandchildren. I don't know how you are going to do it. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. Do my own. Only you can do it. God will do your own in the name of Jesus. Please be seated and close it in the next few minutes. Breakthrough is defined as a 52-year-old single lady getting married within two months. A man just appears. I want to marry you. Within two months. That's happened to people I know. Break 
breakthrough is to find a solution to a nagging problem. Breakthrough is to have entry into power circles. Ikeja has power circles. Lagos has power circles. VGC has power circles. Agege has power. There are people who control every territory. If you can break through to them. There are people who control professions in this country. I met somebody not too long ago told me that he used to be the chairman of the body of benchers. All lawyers in Nigeria. It's like they report to him. Is that, is that your son? I say yes. He's a lawyer. I say yes. To break through is to succeed where others are failing. To break through is to move from the minimum to the maximum. Is to exp experience rainfall where others are experiencing dry season. To break through is to hear your name announced on TV that they've given you a political appointment. We had an area pastor many years ago. I won't mention the state. Chartered accountant. The election, everything got finished. The governor of this state said for him, if it was in Lagos here, say, come and be our commissioner for finance. I hear you are a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Pastor Adebo is your general overseer. I know you won't mess with our funds. I will report you to Daddy Gio. The man did not contest. He didn't campaign. He was sitting on his own. I prophesied to the life of three people. Three people here this morning. Three people. You will get jobs without an interview. You will receive without asking. Money will mean money in your hands. You are going to break through. In the name of Jesus. To break through is to give birth to a set of twins without a womb. I know of two women. At least one gave birth to a child. Another gave a set, set of twins without a womb. In this Lagos. To break through is to move from the level of a debtor to the level of a lender. To break through is for an unfavorable decision on your life to be reversed. To break through is for your son or your daughter to get involved in a surprising marriage within two months. But the man who called me yesterday said, Pastor, you know we've been trusting, we've been praying. This, this lady, where to do couple? See, these ladies have been our prayer point. But it has happened. Marriage is coming. Everyone here whose child is being delayed in marriage, the mountain that is standing in front of that child will be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Will be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. To break through is to move from being a victim to a victor. To break through is to move from the situation of sorrow to joy. To break through is to experience unstoppable breakthroughs. To become unstoppable. To move from miracles to miracles. To move from being hated to being the beloved. I want to pray from the Bible for every one of us and I want you to say amen as I begin to make these prayers. Urapa shekere mo ya kadabarubush. Mazi prekete ye kandarabush. Masakarabu. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 9. He said you will break forth into joy. You will sing together. Your worst places are going to be comforted. You shall be the redeemer of Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 4. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 4. He says, sing, O barren, you woman that has not born children. He says, break forth. You will break forth into singing. You will cry aloud because you are going to travel with children in the name of Jesus. God says, enlarge the place of your tent. You are going to be the first to build a skyscraper in your family. He says, stretch forth the curtains of your habitations. Spare not, let in thy cords, strengthen thy stakes. He said, you are going to break forth on the right. You are going to break forth on the left. Your children will possess the seed of the Gentiles. In the name of Jesus. 
He said, fear not. Do not be ashamed. God is your father. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13, and then to 15, and then verse 17. He said, all your children shall be taught by the Lord. Great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness you shall be established. You and your children will be far from oppression. In the name of Jesus, you shall be far from terror. In the name of Jesus, your enemies shall gather, but not as long as it's not by God. Whoever gathers together for your sake, they shall fall. They shall fall. They shall fall. Verse 17. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 16, verse 15, 18 to 20. Isaiah 16, 16, 15 to uh, uh, 20. Whereas you've been forsaken and hated, that no man has come to you in marriage. God says, I will make you an eternal excellency. You are going to be a joy of many generations. Violence shall not be heard in your land. Your sun shall not go down by day. Your moon shall not go down by night. A little one of you shall be 1,000. Every one naira you have in your bank, or every one dollar, every pound, I multiply by 1,000. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah 61, verses 6 and 7. You shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you ministers of God. You will eat the wealth of the unbelievers. For your shame you shall have double. For your confusion you shall reserve in their portion. Everlasting joy shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 2 to 4. Isaiah 62, 2 to 4. Gentiles, unbelievers shall see your righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Verse 3. You shall be called, you shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. You shall no more be tempted for seeking. So, as I close, to break through is to have mercy to intervene. In John chapter 5, verse 1 to 7, a man suffered for 38 years. Mercy intervened. To break through is to come out of neutral gear. I prophesy that whatever has been keeping you down, keeping your husband or your wife down, keeping your children down, from today, those same things will elevate you in the name of Jesus. I command you, get out of reverse gear. Get out of gear one. Get out of the slow gear. Get out of the neutral gear. Your life will not be neutral in the name of Jesus. I command your legs. Your legs will carry you to blessings. Carry you to favor. Carry you to protection. Carry you to promotion. I speak to your legs. Move your move, move, move. Thank you, Lord. You shall never know a better yesterday. In the name of Jesus. You will break through to the right. You will break through to the left. You will break through upwards. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy within the next one week, you will receive a financial alert that will surprise you. You will receive a money alert that will surprise you. You will receive money and land that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. A brother called me about a week ago. He took a loan of about 50 million naira from a bank. Did a business. No payment. But one month. So people came to the house to come and seize the house. They came with court document. The brother didn't even know when they went to court. They came with, came with belief, came with amplishment. And when they broke into the compound, the brother was running head as He didn't know what to do. All of a sudden, the wife who has access to his account, because the men were in this compound, they, were, they wanted to break into the house. So he didn't have his phone. But the wife has access to the account. The wife just ran out. He said, I won't mention his name. Eh, eh, eh. My dear, my dear, my dear, my dear, see an alert. An alert of 100 million came in that morning. True story. The brother worships here. 100 million naira came in. The brother just called the belief people. Hey, 
How about you say, I'm owing you? Look at your, look at your heads. Look at your head. He signed a check. There and there, they called the bank. They said, yes, money has entered into that account. The policeman went to him. Say, this is your God. Nahelele. God Nahelele. God Nahelele. God Nahelele. Helele. God Nahelele. Nobody be like her. Nobody be like her. Hey, oh, one day, God Nahelele. Helele. 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 Nobody be like her. Nobody be like her. I prophesy to your life. You will receive miracle alerts. You will receive breakthrough alerts. You will receive money alerts. Your children will receive alerts. Your spouses will receive alerts. You will receive seven major miracles. Within 24 hours, miracles. Turn around miracles. Turn around miracles. Your house will receive money. Your house will sign checks in millions. Your eyes will see good things. Your ears will hear of good news. You will not die single. You will not die barren. You will not die poor. You will not die average. You will not die a tenant. You will carry your grandchildren. You will carry your children. You will carry your children. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is a miracle world. Oh, God is, God is, God is. God is oh, a glorious God. God is, God is, God is, God is. God is a miracle world. Oh, God is, God is, God is. God is, is a glorious God. God is, God is, God is, God is. God is yeah. a miracle world. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18 says, Surely there is an end to the blockade, there is an end to embargoes, there is an end to limitations, there is an end to home trouble. There is an end of slaving like an elephant, uh, like an uh, elephant and eating like an ant. There is an end to block fallopian tubes, to block wombs. There is an end to your children being single. Lift up your hand and say, Father, I stand on the authority of your word and I declare end to embargo on marriage, on childbearing, prayer, pray, 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 and em embargo. Enter that embargo. Enter that embargo. Embargo on promotion. Embargo on breakthroughs. Embargo on being a millionaire. Embargo. Embargo. I declare an embargo. In the name of Jesus. Mama, mama, ye kerebo ye korobos. Mazi prekete ye karabos. Endaraba ye prekete ye korobos. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. It's going to be according to your prayers in the name of Jesus. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 Obadiah 1 17 He says upon Mount Zion There shall be deliverance There shall be holiness And the children of God shall go on to possess Their possessions Listen to me The greatest incantation that man has ever known Is the name of Jesus So you are going to scream Jesus Three times And every barrier, every obstacle Every mountain standing in your front you are going to ask him to be extinguished in the name of Jesus. Are we ready to pray? Want to go? Jesus! 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 Pray! Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your children. Pray for your grandchildren. Prayer. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. Every embargo standing in my front, every barrier, every mountain, every roadblock, scattered by fire, scattered by fire, 
scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. It will be according to your prayers in the name of Jesus. You will give testimonies in the name of Jesus. When a mountain is in your front, there are various ways you can overcome it. If you are a river, for instance, and you are flowing and you see the mountain, you can bypass it. But the mountain is still there. If you are a pilot, you can fly over the mountain, but the mountain is still there. If you are a train, you can tunnel through the mountain. Those of us who have been abroad, you see tunnels through mountains. You can tunnel through the mountain, but the mountain is still there, waiting for somebody who's coming behind you. The best way to get rid of a mountain is to blast it out. So with your tongue, the Bible says you, there's power in your tongue. You are, is the best way is to blast it out. Say, Father, I stand on the power of your word and I command every mountain, every barrier, every roadblock, every inhibition, every family ceiling, scatter by fire. Pray, 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 pray. 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 I must break through. 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 I must pass through. I must pass through. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, sometimes you want to enter a building where your blessings are kept. A door resists you. You can use a key to open that door. You can call somebody inside to open the door for you. You can shake the door, shake the door. But you know, I prefer one kind of door. They call them automatic doors. That open with automatic alarm. Have you seen that kind of door before? As you are entering, the thing opened. Many years ago, many, many, many years ago, one man, a, 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 a man was brought to Lagos by the sun. And they decided to go into one supermarket in the Koyi somewhere. I think maybe somewhere in Lagos. As they were going like this, the door just opened. When they entered, air conditioner just made the man gee. The man said, wow. Ah. He mentioned their one name. Eku, eku, eku. He just opened his bag and brought out the, the horn of a goat. He said people followed him to Lagos. Hallelujah. He said they followed him. Are you, the door just, he said they followed him to Lagos. Anyone who followed you to Lagos or followed your children abroad, if they don't leave you alone, Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. So, automatic doors. I stand and I prophesy to everyone here this morning. Doors will open up to you automatically. Doors into marriage will open. Doors into childbearing will open. Doors into prosperity will open. Doors into good health will open. Doors into long life will open. Doors into joy will open. Doors into celebration will open. Lift up your hand and say, Father, let doors open automatically. Automatic alacrity. Automatic alacrity. I must break through. I must enter that room where my blessing is. I must break through. I must break through. I must break through. I must break through. My children must break through. My grandchildren must break through. My wife must break through. I must break through. I must break through. I must break through. I must break through. Oh, rabba 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 shekere bonobush. Masi brekete ye karabush. E rabba 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 shekere rebus. E rabba 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 shekere bonobus. E robo shekere bus. E rabba 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 shekere bus. Pray. I must break through. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, thank you, Lord. This is the season of the church. This is the season of recovery. Season of compensation. Season of jubilation. 
season of eradication, season of divine visitation, season of divine intervention, season of reconstruction, season of congratulations, season of manifestations. This is your season in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I just want you to place your hand on your head and begin to prophesy on yourself. And say, there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. As I prophesy on my head, my head will bless my children. My head is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy into the lives of your children as I close the service. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. It is well with me. It is well with me. I shall eat the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord my God. Divine health. Long life. Peace. Shall be my portion. Generation of blessings. My children will be greater than me. My grandchildren will be greater than my children. In the name of Jesus. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. I shall finish well. In the name of Jesus. It will not be like. Come see. Come see. So so. And begin to say, I will break through. 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 My children are going to break through. We will break through barriers. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. All I shot, you are here this morning. You saw the flyer. You saw the e copy of the flyer on social media. You saw that board out there. And you decided to come in. You are not born again. Means you haven't broken through. But today God brought you here to break through into the family of God. So that you can truly say, Abba Father. You can truly call God your Father. God brought you to save your soul. You want to be born again afresh? Lift up your hands and I pray with you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Or you got born again in the past. Today you want to rededicate your life to Christ. Lift up your hands and I pray with you. Are you here this morning? Are you here? Lift up your hands and I pray with you. We haven't finished the service and you are sitting down. I will not say the opening prayer. Please, let's respect the presence of God. I'm older than many of you here. I've been standing for one hour and there's no problem. Your legs will never be weak. Arthritis will never affect your legs. Elephantiasis will never attract your legs. Your joints will be solid all through the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your son who raised his hand. We ask, oh God, that you forgive him his sins. Wash him with the blood of Jesus. Write his name in the book of life. Continue to grant him the assurance of salvation. I pray for all these your children. Whether anybody believes it or not, this is the season of the church. This is the season of the redeemed Christian church of God. As long as we are connected to this covenant church. Father, let us be blessed continually in the name of Jesus. I speak to every barrier, every roadblock, every inhibition, every ceiling. People that have been told that they can never rise beyond a particular level. People that have been told that they will always be tenants. People that have been told they will drive average cars, live average houses, marry average husband, marry average wife, have average, average children. Average is the best of the worst and the worst of the best. Average is passed back. But average is not excellence. The Bible says we shall be the head and not the tail. The head is the head. Whatever mountain that is standing between you and being the head. Let it crumble in the name of Jesus. Let it crumble in the name of Jesus. Let it crumble in the name of Jesus. Your children will never be average. My children will never be average. Our children will be greater than us. In the name of Jesus, where we could not get to, our children will surpass it. In the name of Jesus, our children will make us proud. Our grandchildren will make us proud. In the name of Jesus, every blockage.
fallopian tube, womb, whatever, whatever you know, my sister. Shake out a burubadaba. Let it clear out in the name of Jesus. Every embargo that they have placed. Embargo on you, Nana Nara notes. When you come here on Sunday, you are going to wave new Nara notes to everybody. Receive money in the name of Jesus. Receive a lot in the name of Jesus. Receive joy in the name of Jesus. Receive breakthroughs. Pronounce the blessings of God upon every one of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. So will it be. So must it be. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe that, just say, see what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, see what the Lord has done. Oh, what we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Amen. Just be, be seated. I forgot to read this. The word from the prayer department before I started ministration. From the prayer department, they said, the God of unstoppable breakthrough, his word unto us. Psalm 66, verse 11 to 12. Number one, God said he will release people from secret bondage today. Yeah. Two, he said, plead with the brethren to come boldly today so that whatever they need, I can give it to them. I thought somebody's going to say amen. Yeah. Number three, you see there are people who fast before this program. And this is word from them. God of unstoppable breakthroughs will visit your family. And every family that needs conception urgently. Say this is your time. Number four, he's giving somebody unstoppable testimonies. Number five, he said my word shall be fulfilled in somebody's life today. Then he said, God said someone has been denied from getting a job. But God said that he will step into that matter. God said, back today, you shall witness great signs, wonders, and miracles in your family. God said, all of your children will get married while you are still alive. Don't be afraid. You shall not die. God said the shower of blessing that is dropping on the church this morning will touch your family. God said don't join people to commit sin because his judgment is coming on sinners very soon. Hallelujah. God said my people don't doubt. Your shame is over. Your testimony starts from today. This is the word of the Lord from the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. If you believe you're going to give a testimony, give Jesus a big hand. Hallelujah. Let's rise to our feet and stretch our hands towards our daddy this morning. Let's water him in return. The Bible says the liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that waters shall be watered also. Just pray for him from the bottom of your heart and ask the Lord to bless him, ask the Lord to renew him. The oil of anointing will not dry upon his head. The word of God in his mouth will not become impotent and feeble. He will never become irrelevant in the affairs of the kingdom of God. Pray for him that he will experience unstoppable breakthrough not only in ministry, but in every area of his life. In the name of Jesus. Let's round off our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As I have spoken in the ears of the Lord, so shall you do in Jesus' name. Let's say God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Celebrate the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's be seated for just a little while. Just want to encourage us from the scripture as we give to God this morning. 1 Samuel chapter 9. 1 Samuel chapter 9. 
If you read the entire chapter, the story covers the entire chapter, but I'm going to pick a few verses to explain the message that I have for you this morning. Verses 7 and 8, the Bible says that Saul, of course, you know, he was looking for his father's asses that had been lost for a number of days. In verses 7 and 8, he was having a conversation with the servant. They needed help. They wanted to go to the man of God, the seer, but they didn't, he didn't have anything with him. So it was more or less the servant that gave him something to give to the man of God. Now, the man of God never set a gate fee. He never said, you cannot see me except you bring something. But they were bringing it because it was something to honor the man of God. Remember to honor the man of God. Honor God in the life of the man of God. So eventually, of course, he took the money. Now go to verse 19 and 20. As soon as they saw the person they were looking for, Samuel, they were even asking a different question. The answers they were seeking was already being given to them. It you knows in verse 19, Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. They were asking, we are looking for the seer. He said, I am the seer. And he said, as for your, the donkeys that you lost three days ago, don't be anxious about them. He said, but today you will eat and drink with me. Now again, jump to verse 23 and 24. Samuel had actually prepared something because God had given Samuel the instruction to prepare something for Saul. So Saul was still saying, what am I going to give to the man of God? God had prepared not only answers to the reason why they were coming, but he had prepared something, a meal bigger than the gift they were bringing. I don't know what you have brought to God this morning, but I want you to be uh, assured the solution to what you are seeking is here for you already. And something bigger than what you want to give, God has prepared for you. So I want you to give with joy. I want you to give with confidence. I want you to give rejoicing unto the Lord this morning. If it is possible, you can even add to what you plan to give this morning. Let's rise to our feet. As the altar. Uh, just one more thing, please. If you are making a transfer, please, uh, the remark column mentioned breakthrough encounter. Breakthrough encounter if you are doing a bank transfer. God bless you. Let's rise to our feet as a choir. We Let give somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. so grateful unto you for the joy you are giving unto us today by opening the windows of heaven and giving unto us unstoppable breakthroughs. Lord, in our joy and out of the abundance you are giving us, we have brought forth these just to say thank you and as a token of our worship and our appreciation. Father and our God, please receive it from our hands and Lord, please bless it and use it for the things that will bring glory to your name and expansion to your work here on earth in the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, we receive a hundredfold of that which you have given this morning. And we say, Father, in our finances, there will be unstoppable breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. We thank you because I've had our prayers, Jehovah. We say, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Shadi big hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. If you are unstoppable, praise the Lord. Let's give God your, uh, the God of unstoppable miracle. Let's give him a very beautiful hand. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for another opportunity. It's a privilege, you know, even to have access into the presence of God. Even to be blessed this morning. I want to really thank our Father and the Lord, the regional pastor. You know, somebody was saying this morning that, ah, for pastor, you're supposed to get here by this time from Fiji.C. You know, it's not easy. So I want you to appreciate God for his life. Daddy, we appreciate you, sir. We appreciate you, ma. The God of unstoppable breakthrough We reward you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So let's listen to the following announcements. As you know, tomorrow is Sunday, and we are having our two duper super services. Praise the Lord. The first service is 8.30, breakthrough service, and the second service, dominion service, by 10.30. The Lord bless you as a fellowship with us in Jesus' name. And we have our power on Mondays, 1 p.m., and on Tuesday, we have our digging deep. We are having serious relationships. It's very, very beautiful. Join us on any of our channels, social media channels. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. On Wednesday, we have lunch hour by 1 p.m. here. And Thursday, we have faith cleaning. Praise the Lord. And we know that evangelism holds every Saturday. If not for today's program, we are supposed to be on evangelism every Saturday, 8 a.m. And the takeoff point is the church car park. And another announcement is that the Easter Let's Go Our Fishing will be uh, during Easter. It will happen on, it will take place on Easter Saturday and Sunday through to Monday. Praise the Lord. I think between 11, uh, sorry, between 9th and 11th April. Praise the Lord. The church is planning to revert back to the old service, as in the former way of service, of service. We are having, we are going to be having short service in the morning, maybe between 8.30. Then we have the Sunday school. Then we have the main service like we used to do. So get prepared. Praise the Lord. I think we are happy. That's very beautiful. So just get prepared. We are going to start soon. Praise the Lord. Then the April breakthrough encounter like this, we happen on, we take place the last Saturday of April. I pray that you will be alive to witness it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will have given you great testimonies, breakthroughs. There shall be testimonies in your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's stand up to close. Let's begin to appreciate God for today. Let's worship him. He's the God of unstoppable breakthrough. And we are moving from average, you know. Daddy talk about average, average. Just give him praise. I'm moving to the top. God has taken us to the top. God has taken us to the top. No more average. No more low life. No more staying at the valley. In the name of Jesus. And every barrier, every mountain, every roadblock has been scattered. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for this great and, and privilege even to be blessed by you. We say, blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that all our requests today, we believe and we are sure that you will turn them to testimonies in the name of Jesus. Your word says, this is the confidence that we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will, you answer us. It's your will for us to be at the top. So that we are sure. We are very, very confident that you have heard us. And our testimonies are coming soon in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go this morning, we pray that your presence will go with us in the name of Jesus. You will shine your face upon us in the name of Jesus. You will be glorious. You will be gracious unto us 
in the name of Jesus. And we will serve you the more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's share the grace in fellowship of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall be dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Unstoppable people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your miracle shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord.